successful camping night, although it was probably very fitful sleep <laughs> because we had a lot of wind and a lot of heavy rain. A lot of heavy rain. A lot of heavy rain. We are getting on the road today and we are heading all the way to O at the southern tip of the Lofoten Islands. So let's go. We're Karin and Jeremy, an average couple with average jobs and limited vacation time. When we take trips, we have one or two weeks, three if we're lucky, and we want to see and do as much as possible when we travel. Join us as we maximize our vacation time on Mapping It. with famous Rurbuer and this mountain and these Rurbuer have been featured in many many photos. <laughs> yeah it's a very good backdrop. And it's like the most photographed spot in the Lofoten Islands. This is just crazy weather I didn't think we'd be seeing sleet or snow. <laughs> yeah not in June and oh gosh it's hitting me in the face it ah, feels like it's nails. It's painful. It's so painful it feels like nails. <laughs> <laughs> need to sauna after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wet. it's so cold. The weather, it's true what they say. If you don't like it, just wait 10 minutes. Also, I am protecting my camera <laughs> from this weather. And in the time it took us to get back to the car, just like that, it stopped raining or sleeting or whatever it was. Yep. You come to Lofoten thinking it's going to be this picture perfect area, and it truly is, but it's also the stinkiest thing you've ever seen or smelled because it's just got a bunch of just stinky old fish hanging out over here. This is fish heads. It's not appealing. <laughs> in the wind here. <laughs> yeah, nothing at all. There's a viewpoint that we're going to go hike up and then we're going to go see what there is to see here. It took us so long to get here. A lot longer than we thought. A lot longer than we thought. We kept stopping. So don't trust what Google says. You will see a lot that you want to stop for. Well, it looks like the boardwalk doesn't go very far. Now we're taking the, the boggy grass. Well, we made it to some form of a peak. <laughs> <laughs> the trail kind of split off in two different, very muddy directions. We started taking the right one, then we changed our minds and took the left one. And the view is pretty good. I mean, maybe if you come in the peak season when it's less rainy, maybe it'll be not as boggy, muddy mess. <laughs> From here, we can see, oh, a cute little fishing boat down there. The village of O is that way, um, directly in front of us. Looks like there's fish drying racks that they have finished using because there's no fish on them. The tunnel that we came through, and then like a little convenience store? We'll have to check that out. We need a pen. <laughs> O i Lufuten is the southernmost village in Lufuten and was historically a very active fishing village. These days, the village mainly operates around tourism and has been turned into a museum. One of the more notable attractions is Europe's oldest fish oil factory dating back to 1850. The other major attraction in O is the bakery. O is similar to Nusjord in that it's got a bit of a museum town. 
that you can walk through and you have to pay to enter. They have a smithy and they have a fish oil factory. They also have Rurbuer here that you can stay in and they look really charming. You can also walk down to the water to see basically where the land ends, which is really cool. And maybe the best part is that they have a bakery that's been operating since 1844 and they only sell one thing. Well, they sell drinks, but they only make one thing and that's cinnamon buns. And they look so good. We each got one. They were 60 kroner. The best part maybe is that they even give you the recipe on the bag. So you have to keep it, keep the bag. It's in Norwegian, but it's also in English on the other side. And let's dig in. This looks so good. Oh, look at that. Made in a wood fired oven, just like it was in the olden days. Do you even see this? That's a lot of salt, sugar crystals. Salt, gross. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of sugar, cinnamon. Smells so good. Look at that. Mm. Wow. I just wish it was a little warmer. These are these are maybe baked a little earlier today, so they're a little cool. Yeah, it's like two o'clock. So. Yeah, it's like it's like two o'clock. This is our lunch. We should have gotten a third. Mm. If you come to Ohm, go to the bakery. So seagulls appear to be very integral to the architecture of coastal buildings here in Lofoten, as you can see over here. You're ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> it seems true. <laughs> These Rurbuer are really charming. It would be so fun to stay here in O. Also, if you come to O, you need to learn how to properly pronounce it. A with a circle above it is pronounced like the letter O. O, not A. You're not going to A. Just wanted to clarify. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat! You found a bad spot, huh? Bad spot. This is very difficult. <laughs> well, this is a very muddy thing. It's a celebration over there. <laughs> I don't know how much you can hear because it's super windy and we don't have the, the mic on. It's very windy. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear any of this, so we're going to talk very loud. If we can. If we can. We hiked from the parking lot in O to the sea, and now this is the furthest point you can get on the Lofoten Islands. By car or foot. Yes, by car or by foot. It's also really, really muddy. Yeah, very muddy. Hard to find a good path to get to the end. It's kind of like a bog. Yep. Uh, there are some spots that look like they're okay, but then you step in them and, and you, you sink. You just sink <laughs> and you hope that your shoe isn't taken with you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really fun to get out here. Uh, it's cool to see. We're lucky that we made it. Yeah. Hopefully if you come, you will not have rain. So maybe you'll have better luck than us. <laughs> some, I, I just hope we get back to our car and we're not completely covered in mud. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try and get back to our car and head up the E10, that's the highway that goes all along the Lufoten Islands. And we'll see, we don't have a plan, we'll see what happens next and we'll take you there with us. Oh. This, is this is insane. I am soaked through. <laughs> I'm a little more waterproof than Jeremy right now, but I'm very cold. <laughs> it's very rainy and all. 
and we decided to try and outrun the rain and we had a little bit of good luck. We are now at Rombergstrana or Romberg Beach and it is one of the most popular beaches in Lufoten. It is a beautiful white sand beach. Yeah, very long too. A very long, clean, pristine white sand beach. <laughs> Let's go explore. <laughs> I won't forget you know the secrets of the late night breeze. There's a beautiful boardwalk that leads down to the beach and if it weren't for like the freezing cold temperatures and stuff you'd never think that and maybe also the mountains you'd never think that you're actually above the arctic circle right now it looks like something that belongs in the tropics <laughs> it's all pretend don't you worry now don't you worry now my love i wish i could jump in but i just don't have the tolerance for Seven degrees Celsius water. <laughs> what do you think? You think that's how cold it is? That's how cold it was in Svalbard uh. yesterday. Well, it got a little bit freezing and the rain started picking up again. So we're very cold. We're also hungry, maybe a little hangry. If, sure. Jer if Jeremy has anything to say about it. <laughs> and so we're going to try and find a place to eat for dinner. Hopefully we won't have to resort to sandwiches again. We're out of cheese now. <laughs> yeah. It's getting a little old too. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see you for dinner. Today was rough. An easy slip and then you're out the door. We've come to Lekness and we are at Dig Bar and Disco. It's not very disco-y right now, but we ordered and our food should be here pretty soon. Well, to start off, we got our drinks. I got a Nordlands Pils, one of the draft beers. That's pretty good, refreshing. I got the cod, technically stockfish, so it's like rehydrated cod. It's on some vegetables. I think there's like a mushy pea situation and definitely an aioli situation as well. So I guess I'll dig into this cod. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I mean, I love cod, don't get me wrong. But I've never had stockfish, stockfish before, so. Very hot. <laughs> Temperature wise? Mm hmm. A little bland. Otherwise, it tastes like cod. Pretty good. Overall, I think needs a little salt, but I'm happy. I got the Buknakad with bacon, potatoes, and a carrot stew. Looks good. I'm not sure what Buknakad means, but I would imagine it's a type of cod. It's good with the bacon. It might be solving the salt problem that Karin had. Overall, pretty good. I like it. We might be sharing <laughs> both of our entrees. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just finished up dinner. It was okay. It was okay. Nothing spectacular. No, nothing special. <laughs> I think I've learned that stockfish is not my favorite. <laughs> I'm glad I tried it. <laughs> and I'm glad that I am not hungry anymore. Yeah, we're very full. Yeah, we are no longer hangry. So that is, <laughs> that is a plus. Now we're going to find a place to camp for the night. So that is our next mission. <laughs> We found this this fantastic pull-off on the side of the road right next to Hokeland Beach with a great view of the beach behind us. Pretty peaceful here. The sun is around the mountain. No rain, blue sky, sort of sunset. Yeah, we may want to go see other places while it's not storming. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. We ended up spending the night here wild camping on the side of the road and admiring beautiful sunset views. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Behind us is a very famous photo opportunity. Behind us is a very famous Over there is the uh, the last town you can drive to on the Lofoten. Oh, is similar to Nusfjord in that it's got a bit of a museum, like, what do you call it? A Historic. I just wish it was a little warmer. 
That's my <laughs> only complaint. Let me say that again. I got something in my eye. Quiet wind. Yeah. So seagulls seem to be very... And then head up the... And head up the... See... We... 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 Oh, she's <laughs>